that's dope. Man. What does the uh, pink one sound like, man? I saw that one. Oh, shit. Remix that shit. <laughs> Do you ever feel like, since you came from HSPBA, that you have some weight on your shoulders to try and carve out a spot for you as like a unique drummer, which means more complexity or more this or that? Yeah, definitely. And I think my thinking about that has changed since I moved to New York. I think I thought of individuality as something that I would find, but find in a way that kind of more like a video game type find, where it's like, oh, you're gonna go it's somewhere and then like, the right steps are gonna lead you to open the box and then it's individuality and you have it and now it's never gonna be, you'll never not be, in, you know. But now I understand from playing more and from practicing a lot more just from being in New York and being around a lot of the people that I look up to that um, it's just a process. Man. It's a real, real process and it's it's really not, it's not the, um, it's not one thing. Indi finding that individuality is not one thing, but it's, it's really more about constant refinement in so many areas, honestly. It's not just about refinement on the drums, it's about refinement away from the drums too. Because everything, the thing about who you are, if you're talking about individuality and how you approach things, it's about everything that you do. It's not just about how you play. In terms of the things I've learned from or, or taken from, you know, the, the Houston lineage, I mean, there's like, I don't think I'll ever stop hearing um, hearing those influences in what I do. I think when I, that's another thing that I've come out of is I'm not really concerned with well, I don't want to sound. I don't want to. I don't want to sound too much like my influences, and because I, I've totally come to the realization that you actually can't. You physically, you cannot sound like them. You will not sound like them. 